of people that I need to thank, so I'm not going to bore you too much. Um, it, it's a great honor. And uh, what makes it very special is the fact that uh, my wife and son are here uh, to enjoy the moment. And uh, it's always extraordinary when uh, uh, your peers choose you for an honor. Uh, so you don't think they've made a mistake. But I must tell you <coughs> that uh, when Vijay called me, uh, do you all know Vijay, Vijay Sethi? So he said, uh, my dear, I have uh, good news for you. So I said, what's it? So he said, we have chosen you for an award. He said, it's great. And he said, there's the CIO Council and Tapan uh, and we decided that uh, you're going to be the awardee, and you'll soon hear from him. So I said, that's great. I'll wait to hear. There was no email. So after a few days, I thought, well, they probably made a mistake, and they, they didn't know how to tell me. <laughs> so they just kept quiet. Then I got another call from Vijay. He said, my dear. Why have you not responded to the email? I said, what email? I never got anything. So then, of course, it transpired that they probably sent it to the wrong email ID. Uh, I finally got it. And it was amazing to read uh, the citation. Uh, it's been a long and, I think, very eventful life. And I was quite impressed with what I saw there. And like I said, it, uh, it's a very special honor to be recognized by your peers. And more so when I know that in my vintage, there are quite a few deserving candidates, and many of them are here in this room. And to be chosen above them, I think, is an extraordinary honor. So, so thank you all the rest for not tom-toming your deeds, <laughs> and not making it so visible so that I could stand out. Uh, thank you. Among the many people that I need to thank, um, and, and there are a legion. I have to, I have to thank, uh, obviously, Tapan for instituting this kind of an award, which is an extraordinary inspiration for CIOs in the future. Uh, Dell for sponsoring uh, such events. And uh, there are some people who, when they walk into the room, they inspire. I mean, Brian is one such person, so thanks to him. And he said he has an extraordinary good relationship with SR, and he also wanted to pocket my check. <laughs> but I told Alok to look for it. Thanks are also due to a whole lot of people that I've worked with. And, and truly, uh, like in cricket, I think this is a, a, a team event. Uh, you, you can only lead but you need your soldiers to be able to do that for you. And I've been extraordinarily privileged to have worked with some of the best people uh, in, in the jobs that I've had. And I've had a few of them, um, starting with Tata Steel, uh, then Bank of America, uh, HDFC Bank, and then SR. Um, and I can probably claim that I'm, I'm only the true CIO and CTO in this room today. I, I know many of you will look askins, um, career is over, right? Career is truly over. I mean, after you get a lifetime award, who's going to give you a job? <laughs> so, uh, I, I don't know if it was done in extraordinary haste. <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm delighted that when I sat there and I was listening to Alok, talk about the various things in technology that really keeps the CIOs awake and what they need to interpret in terms of technology for their uh, business audiences. I'm glad that you know it's truly over. Uh, the next set of CIOs are ready to take over and I think they'll do a tremendous job because they are of a generation where I'm still not on Facebook, so I'm, I'm al already uh, aged. Uh, I'm a dinosaur in this age, I think. Uh, so there are lots of these kind of things which I think uh, today's CIOs will probably expound with greater expertise 
than I could. We were also very fortunate, and I think, uh, you know, I can include Praveer in this, uh, and, and I don't know if Ramni is here, but the three of us who actually started off uh, with private sector banks when we did, it was an extraordinary time when almost anything you did was innovative, and that probably uh, made us a lot more famous uh, than today's world when everybody is contributing so much, but then it gets lost in a din of so much of technological innovation. So I'm also extraordinarily thankful for, uh, to my parents for bringing me up when, or, or getting married when they did, and <laughs> bringing me up when they did, because the timing was just right. Uh, my father would have been extremely proud. Unfortunately, he passed away a few years back, but he constantly used to exhort me, saying, you have to become a chairman of an organization. And every time I get uh, elected as chairman uh, for my board meetings in, in, in the company that I uh, uh, helped to uh, uh, co-found, uh, I keep thinking of him, saying he'll be extremely proud that I'm a chairman for the day. I don't think we can achieve this kind of uh, recognition and uh, fame without support being there at home. So I've been in very, very fortunate in uh, having a wife who uh, has uh, done extraordinarily uh, well in terms of supporting. She's an ardent admirer. She's a, 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 a trenchant critic when, when she has to be. Um, and if I can take some liberties with the English language, I'd probably say she's the best half uh, that I've had. And, and thanks, thanks to you. <clears throat> there comes a time when we, uh, you know, pass on from being a little selfish to doing some things for others. Uh, uh, children are a great uh, entry into a, a transformation. So <coughs> when you get children, uh, suddenly all the focus is uh, away from what you have to do for yourself and you try and do things for them. I've been blessed with uh, two great children and my son is here with me. So uh, it, it's, I'm very thankful for, for his not taking away too much of my time <laughs> when I've had to give it to uh, the organizations that I've served. I think I've thanked all the human beings that uh, have helped me, and the final thanks is really due to uh, the, the one person who uh, inspires uh, what I am today. Uh, this happened uh, by accident um, about 12 years back when I met uh, Satya Sai Baba, and the kind of transformation that he has wrought in my life, uh, I don't think I'll be able to explain. But what it has done is it has made me realize that there is much more to life than just uh, money and what you need to give back to society. So many people ask, so what happens when career is over? Is life over? Uh, uh, when you see a very dapper Brian Lara, uh, he's taken up golf, and I'm trying to get into golf too. Right. And I'm at the sta same stage as Alok uh, in, in, the, uh, in the driving range. So hopefully one day I'll get to the greens, but I have a lot of time. So what happens when career is over? So you try and do something and give back to society. So we started, uh, six of us, we started a company called uh, Rural Chores uh, Business Services. The purpose of this company is to set up uh, job giving activities in villages in India. So we have a dream. Uh, we want to set up at least one center in each one of the 600 districts in India. Uh, we've done 17 of them. We have. Uh, given employment to about 1,500 people, and we have some very marquee customers. So it is possible for you to find a career 
after the career is over. At our age, uh, unfortunately, we fall into this category of giving advice. Can I have some water? For the advice to come out right, it has to be lubricated. <laughs> So I have a few C's. I'm not going to bore you with a whole treatise, right? I'll just give you what I think are the most important things in life, uh, <coughs> having seen a considerable amount of life uh, by now. The one thing that I, I, I would like to share with you is care. I mean, it's all C's. So, you know, care. Uh, and caring is very important, uh, especially when you rise to great uh, heights, because ultimately it's the people who are your soldiers who are going to deliver. Uh, if you don't care about them uh, personally and help them develop a personality, then you're not going to achieve much in corporate life. There is a lot to say about commitment, and I think you heard enough from Brian and Alok about commitment and, and uh, rising to challenges and so on. Consistency, even though they say it's a virtue of an ass, uh, it's, it's very important for the CIO. Um, you have to be consistent. You have to be seen playing on the same side as your business. There are no personal agendas here. In this world now, I think collaboration is probably a very important aspect of success. And collaborating with partners like Dell, IBM, or any of the big guys, it's so important because your ability to do things on your own is very limited. Consensus. Uh, sometimes you have to sacrifice what you truly believe in uh, for a little while to be able to get to what you want the business to be. Uh, <coughs> It's not a question of compromising on ideals or ideology, but it is to do things which the situation demands, exactly like what Brian was explaining, that even a draw is a win, because if the situation demands a draw, then you play for it, uh, while you would like to win all the time. Confidence, and I think a lot of uh, people uh, need the confidence, the ability to be able to put forth your ideas uh, fairly succinctly to business, uh, in a manner which business understands. Uh, oftentimes, CIOs are accused of using a lot of whole other words, um, and not the ones that you are thinking of, <laughs> but acronyms, uh, which confuse the audience. And I think we have come a long way. Uh, you probably have to talk about taking ideas from the users. You're no longer the only custodians of what is technology. Your users are going to tell you a lot more, and you need to be aware. And I think in this day and age, um, what is the most important uh, attribute is character. Uh, so when, if you think that the next uh, Conrad Sue's <coughs> award is yours and you don't get it, uh, you know who you have to talk to and, and with what. Uh, it's been an extraordinary journey. Um, I'm not going to bore you with a, a lot of the details. But I'm extremely proud uh, to be standing in front of you as the first recipient. Uh, and, and I would like to wish uh, all of you all success. Uh, Tapan and uh, the Dell team as they try and propagate what is really good for the CIOs. And more than anything else, I would like all of you to succeed personally uh, with yourself and with your families. So thank you and God bless. Mr. Ram, I think that was truly, truly uh, a true winner's speech and I'm